Hi everyone, and thanks again for following me on my journey, and I hope to share as much useful information as I can. I'm just going to go into, uh, outline my strategy as to what I'm planting and why. So what I'm planting is mostly in the in the uh, sort of up to from year three to five up until year twelve, things can change and um, they can change very quickly and very effectively using syntropic agriculture because of all of the other successional species that we have that we must plant anyway because of succession and we don't discriminate against what sort of seeds we use so there is going to be just about everything in there and we of course we manage that by pruning and all of that's in the course which is provided <clears throat> so i will be using my 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 game plan is banana and taro the reason i'm going to be going for banana and taro is due to my my own personal view of the market i'll start with banana now there's a number of reasons why i've chosen banana now the first reason that i've chosen banana is because we're going into um headlong into food security issues and I am I am focusing on crops that provide staple staple that support state the staples in your diet and the banana is a, is a big one uh, I mean I could grow wheat or something like that but obviously it's just not going to work in 20 acres and it's really not the climate I'm getting it get it, going to get more calories uh, in my banana production because of the climate uh, etc although wheat will work in agroforestry in syntropic agroforestry because of the macroorganism so what, I, what I've done is I've chosen banana because everybody eats it it's not a discretionary it's not so discretionary it's not like um, fancy lettuce or kale where you know going into a food security issue you're looking for calories you're not looking for garnish or added greens like if that to put it give you an example on the extreme end if you really need greens they're growing on the roadside everywhere they're in the paddock they're winter greens the weeds there are a decent supply of greens if you need your minerals etc for that that's an extreme example but you need calories and banana is my choice for that because banana is an excellent source of uh, carbohydrate and baseload energy for our diet uh, we don't need to eat them ripe we can eat them green and cook with them and they work much like a potato or something like that so that's one of the reasons I've chosen banana and it's one of the biggest selling um, types of fresh food there is in the world because of all of those reasons the other reason I've chosen banana is because I personally have I have I have personally identified that this is the bottom of the market in bananas uh, this is the time when the earnings for bananas are at the lowest for banana growers most bananas are coming out and a lot of the banana growers in my area are going into cattle and the only reason they're going into cattle is because they own their land if you were buying if you're paying off your land you can't afford to go into cattle but um, a lot of the banana growers in my area are fourth generation farmers then the, the land is is 100 percent owned so they can go into cattle uh, so yes the supply side is starting to drop off 
Yeah, prices are shit, but prices, shit prices are always an indicator of the market bottom. Now, all of the good growers that I've known, and this is a good good way to, to look at farming, because farming is essentially your 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 commodities trader, you're trading in futures. Um, so the the uh, there's a good saying that's like if 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 everybody's planting it pull it out. If everyone's pulling it out, plant it. Now, I'll give you the opposite, an example of the opposite thing. And this is what the, the, the crowd does or the herd in farming. And this is why we have so many boom and bust cycles and, and, and volatility in prices and, and whatnot. Is because, here's another example of the opposite. Um, the the um, macadamias right now are reaching the uh, are getting a good price. Everyone who's who's got mature macadamia trees and are harvesting, they're making good money. So everybody's putting macadamias in. Everyone's pulling out cane, sugar cane, and putting in macadamias. Now, the reason for that is there's a lot of demand for macadamias in China, and that's where a lot. Of, that's what's driving the prices. Is that just the the hard, um, strong pressure on the demand side? But because of this supply side, there's this just heaps of it online that's coming online soon with all these young trees getting planted everywhere. It's not only here, but China are planting them. So I don't know why you would plant macadamias now. I'd be pulling them out. I'd call the top of the market and 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 then move into another. Uh, crop but bananas are the opposite everyone's pulling them out the prices are at a bottom but I when the prices are at a bottom and I'm calling the bottom of the market in bananas for a lot of reasons and I'll go into them um, just as a segue a quick segue you'll find that in your area wherever you farm there'll be something similar going on you just got to look for it so um, Prices have only got one way to go when, the, when there's a bottom, and that's up. So, but I'm getting information from the markets, from, from my connections and friends in the markets, wholesalers and agents, and they're starting to see the prices picking up in bananas now. So I'm, I'm definitely going to call this one the bottom of the market. Now, there's another factor and that is one of the reasons, one of the many reasons banana prices have bottomed, and there's a lot, um, is is in Australia in Tully is where all nearly all of the banana production has been centralised, and that's huge risk um, because Tully's prone to cyclones for a start. We all know when the cyclones hit Tully what it does to banana prices everywhere else. But the other thing too is Tully's getting a serious problem with Panama and, and, and disease up there and it's really moving through in, and, and they, they're finding it very hard to control. So because of that centralisation there's two issues which is disease and risk with weather but there's also supply line logistical um, issues there, there's fragi fragility there, so transport and fuel prices and things like that affect it, because Tully, Tully's a bloody long way away from anywhere, it's about 2,000 kilometres if I remember, just, and that's just from Brisbane if I remember rightly. So that's why I'm going into bananas, I'm calling the bottom of the market. 